Welcome back, Feature Medicos. After a long, long, long wait, MCC has finally released the round one provisional results. In this video, we will look at the closing rank for deemed universities under the deemed quota or paid seats quota. We will look at college-wise, what is the closing rank? What is the closing All India rank? What is the NEET marks? We will look at I will start from the most competitive college, the college with the highest cutoff, and then we will go down to the last college in the deemed universities list in this video. So starting from the first college, as usual, as expected, KMC Manipal is at the top with an All India rank of 40,008 and need score of 511 marks. So the topmost college is closing at a score of 511 marks in 2025 round one provisional results. Of course, this is provisional results. There could be some minor changes in the final results tomorrow, but I don't think there will be a lot of changes. At the second position, we have Symbiosis Medical College for Women, which closed at an All India rank of 47,500 and NEET score 504 marks. KMC Mangalore closed at 500 marks. Manipal Tata Medical College Jamshedpur closed at 491. KSEGDE Medical Academy at Mangalore closed at 460 marks. Probably we are missing the top two colleges this year, Hamdad and uh, Jawaharlal Nehru Medical College, Belgaum. So probably these two colleges have an effect on the cutoff of the remaining colleges in the top list. At the sixth position, we have JSS Medical College, Mysore, which closed at 453 marks. Rural Medical College and Pins Loni closed at 448 Kalinga Institute Bhuvaneshwar closed at 434. MGM Navi Mumbai closed at 427. And at the 10th position, we have SDU Kolar, which closed at an All India rank of 1,78,000 and needs score 417 marks. And if you look at the top 10 medical colleges, there are a lot of colleges from Karnataka. You can see KMC Manipal, KMC Mangalore, KSFD Mangalore, JSS. SDU. So there are about five medical colleges in the top 10 from Karnataka. At the 11th position, we have IMS and some hospital campus 2. Okay, this is campus 2, which is a fairly new college started only last year, but probably the lower fee structure is an attraction and it closed at 413 marks. At the 12th position, we have JG Triple MC, again another college from Karnataka, it closed at 406 marks. BLDE Bijapur closed at 401. MGM Aurangabad also closed at 401. And 15th position, we have Sri Siddhartha Tumkur, which closed at 396 marks. At the 16th position, we have MGM Washi, which closed at 393 marks. IMS uh, Sum Hospital Bhuvaneshwar Campus 1, it closed at 388 marks. Amrita Kochi also closed at 388 marks. Mahatma Gandhi Mission Medical College, MGM Nerul, closed at 379. Sri Siddhartha Academy, T. Begur, closed at 379. Sri Ramachandra Medical College at Chennai, closed at 374. So this is the topmost medical college in Tamil Nadu once again and closed at 374 marks. MM Institute Mullana, closed at 368 marks. Enapoya Medical College in Mangalore, closed at 366. This is for the deemed quota. I'm not talking about the Muslim minority. At the 24th position, we have Amrita Faridabad, which closed at 365. And at the 25th position, we have the second medical college from Tamil Nadu, which is Sri Lalitambigai Medical College, which closed at 359 marks. The lower fee structure from Lalitambigai compared to other medical colleges in Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry, probably it's an attraction and it is closing quite high again this year. Last year also, it was closing slightly higher. At the 26th position, we have Raj Rajeshwari Medical College from Bangalore, which closed at 354 marks. D.Y. Patil Medical College, Kolhapur, closed at 346. Malla Reddy Institute, Hyderabad, closed at 343. This is a co-education college. There is another college where women's only college is there. I will talk about that shortly. SBKS uh, Medical College at Gujarat has closed at 340 marks. Malla Reddy Medical College for women, only women closed at 335. Uh, Bharati Vidyapit deemed university at Pune has closed at 326. Datta Mega Nagpur has closed at 318 marks. D.Y. Patil Pune also closed at 318. 
Krishna Institute Karat closed at 317 marks and the 35th position goes to JLN Medical College Datta Mega Varda has closed at 310 marks. At the 36th position, we have D.Y. Patil Medical College Navi Mumbai which closed at 309 marks. At the 37th position, we have Wales Medical College which closed at 307. Savita Medical College has closed at 304 marks. Geetam Institute closed at 302. BV Deemed University Sangli has closed at 301. Graphic Era Institute of Medical Sciences closed at 300. Binayaka Missions Karaikal closed at 283. SRM Medical College Chennai has closed at 282. Santosh Medical College Ghaziabad closed at 281. Vinayaka Missions Medical College Salem has closed at 265 marks. At the 46th position, we have Meenakshi Medical College from Tamil Nadu. It closed at 263. Mahatma Gandhi Pondicherry closed at 256. ACS Medical College closed at 254. Arubadai Vida Medical College closed at 252. Chettinad Hospital has closed at 250. Sri Satya Sai Medical College has closed at 239 marks. Bharat Medical College has closed at 235. Sri Balaji Medical College has closed at 222. Sri Lakshmi Narayana Institute has closed at 215 marks. And JR Medical College is the last college in terms of getting a seat. It closed at 215 marks with an All India rank of 7,34,672. So the final candidate to get a seat in a deemed university under the management quota or deemed quota is all India ranks 7,34,672. This is an extremely high cutoff compared to last year. Now compare that with 2024 round one. 2024 round one, the deemed universities have closed at an all India rank of 13,32,000. Now I do not know why the cutoff is so high this year. It is closed at 7,35,000. So, which is an increase of close to about 6 lakhs. 6 lakhs, the cutoff has increased. In spite of most of the deemed universities increasing fees this year, the cutoffs have not come down. The cutoffs have gone up drastically. And now people might understand why I keep telling in every video that don't worry about prediction. People are always trying to predict, can I get this college? Can I get that college? Can I put only 4 colleges? Can I put only 5 colleges in my choices? Can I eliminate Tamil Nadu colleges? Can I eliminate Pondicherry? Can I don't put these, these colleges? Right? That's the risk. Looking at previous year trends is only for an idea, not for choice filling. Choice filling, when it comes, you need to fill all the colleges. I'm sure many of you might have missed a seat because you have not filled all the colleges. At least candidates who have spoken to me, few of them have already are realizing the mistake that they have not filled all the colleges in the choice filling. So please understand, don't make the same mistake again in round two. You are not guaranteed a seat by filling very few colleges. And you are not going to lose anything by adding more colleges. So please remember, nobody can predict what will happen in round two, what will happen in round three. Don't try to get into this prediction mode and get into it trouble. If you really want to join medical college this year, fill as many choices as possible in round two. If anyone got a seat already, my advice, please join the college. Don't take a risk. Join the college and then try to upgrade in round two, try to upgrade in round three. That's a better option rather than not joining the college and taking a risk. I hope this information will be useful to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.